Hi, my name is Sherilyn Williams and I'm a realtor with eXp Realty. And in today's video, I'm going to discuss with you, what do you do now that you are under contract for your new home purchase? Right, so you have been out, you've been looking at homes for maybe days, weeks, or even months with your realtor, and you finally have come across this beautiful home, and you are so excited, and you are just, just through the roof in excitement. So what happens now after the um, realtor puts in the contract to the sellers and the contract is accepted? Well, this is the phase that we call under contract, or the home is right now contingent. So in this time is not a time to relax and think that you can coast all the way to closing until you get your keys. Now is the time to make sure that you have all your ducks in a row. And what I mean by this is that you wanna be prepared to have a home inspector come out to the home to make sure the home is in good condition and that you're not going into a lemon type of home. Also, your underwriter is going to ask for an appraiser to come out to the house to make sure the home is worth what you're paying for it. They're gonna look at other homes in the neighborhood and compare them to yours. This next step is one of the most important ones and that is making sure that you have your documents and all of your paperwork in order. I often tell my buyers before they even put a contract in for a home to have all of these things lined up so that when the underwriter asks for them, bam, you can just hand it right to them. Now, some of these things that I'm talking about are like um, proof of your employment history, any assets that you may have, bank statements, tax return forms, any uh, debt to income ratios that you may have. Those are all the things that your underwriter is gonna look for. And I often have clients who get so frustrated because um, the underwriter will contact them and say, okay, I need um, your tax returns for the year 2021. You turn them in and then they say, well, no, we need your tax returns for 2020, uh, 2020. And they just get all frustrated because sometimes the, the loan officer will ask for things multiple times. I just say to relax and just turn whatever you can in as soon as you can. And I know sometimes it is a struggle because many times people are working, um, they're nine to five, and they can't get it in as soon as the loan writer, um, underwriter contacts them. So just try to do it as soon as you can when you get off work or if you have someone in your family that can help you. Even I, as the realtor for my clients, I will even do things for my clients if they need me to. Now, the next stage and the most important stage under the um, when you're under contract is do not take out any more loans. I'm warning you guys, do not go out and buy a bunch of furniture for your new home purchase. I know that you're excited and you can't wait to furnish it, but you wanna wait until after closing. And I would say give it even a week or two after closing before you do that because if the underwriter sees any new uh, loans, or any money that you know all of a sudden mysteriously goes into your account, that's gonna put up a red flag and your whole deal can fall through. So don't go out and buy furniture, don't go buy a new boat, don't go on a shopping spree, don't go on vacation. While you're under contract, you just want to be just even keel and steady with, your, um, with everything, with your bank accounts, money, everything. So um, I hope that this video has been helpful to you. You want to have a very, very smooth closing. So follow my steps and you will not be disappointed. My name is Sherilyn Williams. Thank you for watching my video. And if there's anything that I can do for you and your real estate needs, I'd be more than happy to help you. Ciao.